If you're considering a trip to Paris, there are a plethora of things to see and do in the vibrant city of lights and love. France's capital is a major European metropolis with an abundance of green beauty, but is also teeming with unique tourist attractions and historical landmarks. Paris is also a global hub for delectable cuisine, a thriving art scene, and a booming fashion industry. A visit to the city is an invitation to immerse yourself in all things beautiful. Without question, Paris is most famous for the Eiffel Tower, which is the city's most famous landmark. If top landmarks are your game, you can also stroll down the Champs-Élysées and take in the grandeur of the avenue, or spend a day visiting the Louvre. Of the lesser well-known attractions among tourists are the Museum de l'Armée and Napoleon's Tomb. These are two outstanding attractions that should not be missed while touring the French capital. The Tomb of Napoleon Bonaparte is located in the centre of Paris in the breathtaking Dôme des Invalides, perhaps the most stunning retirement home for old soldiers ever built. Formerly known as Hôtel des Invalides, it is most well known as just Les Invalides, or The Invalids. It was founded in 1670 on the orders of Sun King Louis XIV as the first institution of its kind in Europe. This intricately beautiful structure is a sprawling complex of 17th century buildings and courtyards, and certainly one way for a nation to thank its soldiers. To find Napoleon's tomb, you'll need to find Envalide's chapel, constructed by Jules Hardouin Monsin at the end of the 17th century. Napoleon Bonaparte is perhaps France's most notable political and military leader, rising to fame during the bloody French Revolution. A man who desired to bring pride to the French commoner and science and reason to the world, Napoleon was and is seen as a national hero. After his death, it was decided to entomb him in beautifully sculpted red porphyry. Napoleon was a soldier's general and loved by his troops. A lot of his success as a military leader was down to the fact that Napoleon loved his men. During the years 1808 to 1815, Napoleon paid several visits to the Hôtel des Invalides. Following Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo and abdication in 1815, the Hôtel des Invalides would see a huge rise in occupants. According to records, almost 5,000 survivors of the Great Army would be housed here by the end of 1815. Approximately 20 years after Napoleon's death, his body was returned from the British island territory of St. Helena in 1841, where the former emperor had lived under guard in exile to ensure that he would never vie for world domination again. Saint Jerome Chapel served as his final resting place. The mausoleum of Napoleon Bonaparte, designed by the renowned sculptor Louis Visconti, contains the emperor's remains, placed in five unique urns, which in turn were sealed in a tomb a fascinatingly carved block of red porphyry, a kind of igneous rock. Napoleon's two brothers would also be laid to rest in this crypt. When visiting the tomb, you'll have the opportunity to see not only Napoleon's tomb, but also the astonishing dome that houses it, dotted with marble and other beautiful rock furnishings. The chapel is decorated with stunning statues and columns, a monumental stairway, and a massive mosaic all commemorating Napoleon's most celebrated military victories. The crypt is studded with various gorgeous displays that make paying homage to Napoleon quite a grand experience. As well as seeing the tomb and exquisite furnishings that surround it, you'll also be given an in-depth insight into some of Paris's most famous landmarks throughout your visit. Napoleon Bonaparte and his historical significance to France today will also be covered in the course of your tour. Once you've admired this monument, there are museums and a cafeteria on the grounds where you can relax after touring the site. The Musée de l'Armée, or Army Museum in English, is one of Paris's most popular places to visit. It is connected to the Les Invalides and Napoleon's tomb, making visiting all three of these historic monuments a breeze. It was established in 1905, immediately following the World's Fair, and is the consequence of the amalgamation of the Museum of Artillery and the Museum of Arts and Sciences. A component of the beautiful and ancient Les Invalides, the Cathedral de Saint-Louis des Invalides is also connected to this terrific museum. Exhibits are spread across about 8,000 square meters of floor space, making it the largest military museum in France. It is rightfully recognized to be one of the most important military museums in the world, and includes over 500,000 artifacts from the Middle Ages to the present day, all concerned with the business of warfare. 
The Army Museum is home to a plethora of interesting exhibits and displays, and is a must for any military buff. It has a large number of artifacts related to French military history such as insignia, uniforms, paintings, portraits, documents, and gaudy military decorations. And no small amount of arms and armor. To access the museum, you need to buy a pass which also grants access to other museums around the city. You can take a detour via the Museum of the Order of Liberation or the Museum of Relief Maps. The permanent collections of the Army Museum are exhibited in sequence in which the historical military artifacts are represented through different historical periods. These exhibits span from medieval warfare to collections gathered from the World Wars to displays including modern military equipment. Another must-see attraction you can visit with your pass to the Army Museum is a courtyard with cannon exhibitions and armor and weapons for the 13th and 17th centuries. The cannon are particularly impressive, artillery being a favorite tool of Napoleon. Aside from the Eiffel Tower or Notre Dame, Napoleon's Doom and the Army Museum are two fascinating tourist attractions that should definitely be included in your Paris itinerary. When you visit these two gems, you'll not only get to admire the beauty of the complex's incredible architecture, but you'll also get to dive into France's history. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram via our handle at viatravelers or check out our blog at viatravelers.com.